Hello everyone, good evening to you all. I hope you are all well. Let's start our session today and enjoy the revision with you as usual. How are you, Mrs. Wafa? Good evening. Oh, good evening, Ms. Summer. Nice to have you with me. It's How are always, you? It's always fun to have the revision sessions, you know? Of course, oh. I know that. And always fun to have our dear friends and dear students today. Yeah, actually, I noticed they like the questions very much. Whenever we have revision or questions, they always attend. Inshallah, they will attend and participate. Bismillah, inshallah. Okay, uh, with you today, as usual, uh, Ms. Amani Shawki Said Badawi, Garbia Governorate, Ms. Samar Yahya, Alexandria Governorate, Sofa Hassoub, Soha Governorate. Let's start our revision with great expectation as usual. Yes, Ms. Samar. Now let's start. Uh, we are completing actually the questions of the last session. So we are starting from, uh, from question number 15. From your point of view, the dear students, remember you have to always support your opinion. Whether you say yes or no, you have to mention the reasons. Uh, from your point of view, did Miss Havisham have a clear impact on the relationship of Bib and Stella? What do you think? Actually, Miss Havisham planned the relationship between Stella and Bib, but she has some, some plans in mind. Do you remember? Yes, Miss Havisham had a clear bad impact. It was a very bad effect on Pib and the Stella relationship because Miss Havisham made Stella hard hearted. She wanted her to revenge of all men. So she made her hard, hard hearted, you know, she's with no heart. Very cruel. Or you can say that she made Stella without heart or feelings and used her as a weapon, as a weapon to do what? To hurt Pep. Why Pep? Because Pep is a gentleman. She wanted to get her revenge from all gentlemen because she was hurt one day from her fiancé. So she used Stella as a weapon to hurt Pep's feelings. Uh, number 16. Do you think Pep had a happy childhood in his sister's house? Why? Uh, actually, no, he was not happy. I don't think so because he was an orphan and his sister was cruel to him. Do you remember who was kind to him? Number 17. Do you think that the convict was serious when he threatened them? Why? Uh, do you think he was serious? Of course. Um, no. I don't think so because he wanted only to make Bib afraid. He wouldn't have hurt him. He just wanted him to be afraid to get the file because this convict, if you remember, gave already Bib a great fortune and made, uh, was the reason. So he didn't mean to hurt him. He just wanted to make him afraid in order to bring the file, in order to release himself from the leg file. Question 18, dear students, I wish she wouldn't hit you, though Joe said, I would rather she uh, hit me than you. What did these words show Mr. and Mrs. Joe's characters? I think from these words, you can tell whatever you can say in your mind, dear students, about Mrs. and Mr. Joe. You know that Mrs. Joe was really cruel to her um, brother. She always hit him. And Joe, instead, he always um, uh, kind. He was kind to him and he never uh, hurt him. Uh, uh, in fact, he wished to be hit instead of Bib. These words show how Joe was a kind person. He was different from his wife, who was Pip's sister, yet she used to hit her younger brother. Question 19. Do you think Pip was completely ungrateful to others? And why? Well, this is a critical question and pretty wonderful one. Uh, do you think that Pip was completely ungrateful? When did we feel that he was un ungrateful, dear students? When he became a gentleman, he, uh, he became rich. So he was ungrateful to friends. I think he wasn't always, not all the time, ungrateful because he was ungrateful to Joe and Betty. On the other hand, he was grateful to Miigwech and Herbert. Yes, let's continue with question number 20. 
wanted to say, I didn't tell the soldiers where to find you. I didn't tell the soldiers where to find you. Do you think the convict thought that Pep hadn't told the soldiers about his place? Why? Do you think he trusts Pip or he doesn't trust him? What do you think? Yes, he trusted Pip and defended him saying he stole the food and the file from the blacksmith's house. Magwish actually became Pip's benefactor. So actually he appreciated that Pip was kind to him. He wanted to return his kindness back. And number 21, dear students, in your opinion, was Pep, sorry for the extra O, was Pep a young man of principles? Why do you think so? Remember, dear students, we have already given you um, an, an analysis for the, the character of Pep. He has some good sides and bad sides. Pep actually was kind, he was ambitious, and he was idealistic most of his life. He always wanted to be a gentleman. He wanted to care for his education. He was kind to people who wanted to help him. He was helpful to his neighbors. He supported his friend Herbert. Remember when he supported Herbert? He wanted to help Mr. Magwish to go out of the country and he wanted him to meet his daughter. Maybe the only defect in his character when he treated Joe badly when he came to him, but actually he corrected this mistake. Isn't that right, Mrs. Wafa? After that, yes, he I, I agree. I totally agree with you. He's a complicated character, Miss Summer. Really? Yeah. You can yeah. find good and bad um, things in his uh, his personality. Yeah, that's right. You know, humans are humans. Have and they're good or bad yes. things. Exactly. Okay, 22. Uh, should Stella have been cruel to Pip? And why should she uh, have been uh, cruel to him, dear students? In your opinion, what do you think? Well, according to the treatment or the treat that Miss Havisham uh, brought her to, she should be cruel to him. But according to the way he treated her, no, she, uh, she should love him. She should um, compensate him uh, for the, the, the great emotions that he gave her. No, she shouldn't have done that to the person who truly loved her. She regretted treating him badly at the end, as you already remember, dear students. Question 23. Pip was a good friend to Herbert. Say what you think, mentioning two reasons. How do you think that he was a good friend to Herbert, dear students? Well, he liked uh, Herbert from the beginning. They remained friends. And of course, Pep helped him secretly to find a job with Mr. Uh, Clariker. And Pep also asked Miss Havisham to help Herbert. That's why she gave him money to support him and open his project for him. Ms. Samar? Yeah, let's continue to the students with number 24. What do you know from the character of Joe? Uh, actually, Joe is uh, a good character. You always like to, to talk about him. Mention only two morals, you know, two morals, two good things. Joe has never changed. He remind, uh, he remained sorry, kind and honest with Pep, even when Pep treated him badly, remember? He is, he is Pep's trust friend. I learned from him how to be loyal and forgiving. You know, he already was kind to Pip. He supported him. And even at the end, when he was at the end of the story, when he was, when he regretted, treated him badly, he didn't actually talk about it again. Number 25. Pep was quick to change after he knew he had got a fortune from a rich benefactor. Uh, explain, how did he change when he became a gentleman, when he became rich? He started to feel ashamed of Joe's poor education and he also refused to put on his new clothes at Joe's house. Remember when he wanted to stay in, in a hotel because he didn't want the poor people to see him. So actually that's as Mrs. Wafat said, actually Pip is a complicated character. He has his good sides and bad sides. 26. Is it legal or moral to help a convict to escape punishment? Justify your answer. 
Well, wonderful question for you to answer, dear students. Is it legal or moral to help a convict? Well, in, in our opinion, no, it's not um, it's not moral at all to help a convict. He is a criminal, so we leave it to the judge. We leave it to the court to decide which um, uh, whether that um, he may go to jail or not go to jail. OK, but it's not up to us. And of course, we have in our Islam uh, some texts that say the same. It's not up to us to to the, um, to determine that he is um, whether to help him or set him free or not. We have to deliver him to the court, to the um, the policemen, and they decide whether to uh, put him into jail or not. Well, no, it's not neither legal nor moral. Even if you think the convict is innocent, it's better to prove his innocence instead, of course, in the court according to the judge uh, or according to the judgment that they will see or, or they will say. Uh, 27. What do you think of Miss Havisham? What do you think, dear students, of Miss Havisham? Is she a cruel person? Is she a kind person? Is she miserable? What do you think? Well, in our opinion, we think that she was a woman who destroyed her life and she lived of those around her and, and of course the lives of those around her. She could not overcome the shock of her wedding. She chose to live in the past instead of looking forward to a new start. And that teach you always look forward to a new beginning in life. Always there is kindness. There is uh, love in, in life and in the future. Just wait for it to come to you, dear students. Um, here is the, yes, Ms. Summer. Yeah, we always actually we already aware that our students never to do that. Even if you do anything, if you do anything wrong, if you didn't do well in an examination, never look back. Always look forward. Look to of the course. future. Never look to the past. Well, um, uh, enough for the question of the great expectation. Now to the final revision of the grammar, vocabulary, translation, passage, and everything is here with uh, me and Miss Summer. Let's start again. And uh, the first question is with you, Miss Summer. OK, of Let's course, you need uh, you have to tell us your name and the governor aid that you uh, are from dear students. Let me enlarge it a little bit and. Check if this is suitable for you. Is this OK? Yeah, it's very OK. Thank you very much. OK, now, you're mostly welcome. Students, I hope you turn up and give us your answers. I know you like the MCQ questions. He estimated he. He cost, boast, cost or toast of building a new house. He estimated the. What do you know when you when you you know, dear students, when you estimate, you say approximately. OK, he estimated the, of course, there is a confusion here between coast and coast. The first one, number one coast, this is like the north coast. This is the shore of the sea. And actually, you already know the verb boast, you know, to be proud about something. And I think if you are hungry, you can take the toast. So the correct answer is number three, coast. This is the, the, the approximate money. And for example, he says this building will cost about 200,000. Yeah, very good, Nada. I told you, Miss Wafa, they like the MCQ questions. Nada gave the correct you. answer. Number nice two. to have you with us, Nada. Excellent. So, OK, so moving to question number four. She has been a member of the National Space of Dr. Sense 28. What do you think? Well, we have, uh, yes, it's a coronation, constitution, faction, or association. What do you think, dear students? She has been a member of the national. Well, for doctors, OK, we are looking for some sort of an institution, uh, some sort of um, an organization or something like that. So for doctors, we can call it association, dear students. It's not a constitution, not coronation or faction, of course. OK. Now let's move to number five. Be ready for number five. Watching too much TV beings gives or make or takes me headaches all the time. Watching too much TV beings me headaches, gives me headaches, make me headaches or takes me headaches. What do you think? I think you are not going to use make 
because you need here a third singular S, okay? And you are not going to use beings, of course, dear students. So you have two options here, gives or takes. I think it's number D. No, it's not number D. It gives me headaches. Be aware, dear students. So it's number B, gives me headaches. Okay. Uh, maybe you meant uh, the last question. It was number D. Yeah, that's correct. But question number okay. five is number B. Uh, well, uh, moving to uh, number six. My students are usually space of my word. So my students are usually appreciation, appreciative, appreciatively, or appreciate. What do you think, dear students? After, after are usually. What do we need here? We are describing her students. We are describing her students. So we need a description here. Is appreciation a description? Huh. Appreciation, noun. Uh, appreciatively, it's an adverb. Appreciate, it's a verb. So where is the adjective here? Well done. I know that you already knew that. It's appreciative, of course. They're usually appreciative. Now let's move to number seven. Which of the following doesn't collocate with the verb make? Yani that means you cannot use it with the verb make. A promise, can you say make a promise, make a speech, make noise or make a task? I think you can always make a promise, make a decision, make a speech uh, and make the make a um, noise. But I think you cannot make a task. Usually you do a task. OK, moving to uh, number eight in his space. Granddad left me uh, a large sum of money. It's large, by the way. Sorry for the mistake. So in his huh, what do you think in his well, well, wall, wall? Oh, yes, it's uh, it's up to the letters now, dear students. What's the difference between the four of them? Huh. Well, well here means good. Well, here means good. Huh. Well means something that may happen in the past. Uh, sorry, uh, in the future, but also has another meaning. What do you think? Huh. Well, uh, it's some sort of um, a document or a paper that we uh, write before we die. That we write it before uh, we die. OK, uh, and wall, of course, uh, it's uh, some sort of um, uh, place or or, uh, or some sort of uh, something that is built of bricks and wall is some sort of cloth. So we have here a uh, well, well, wall or wall. What do you think? Huh? Granddad left me a large sum of money before he died. So before he died, he left us in his well, of course, was we'll there. Now, Actually, Nada is giving me correct answers, but maybe a oh, bit late. Nada, perfect. So quite be quick, Nada, in order to... for other uh, students to join us, inshallah. Inshallah, they will turn up soon. Number nine, no sooner. Remember, no sooner. Uh, no sooner had he taken or he took or had he taken has. Sorry, the first one is has. And had he taken the last one, he had taken the medicine then he left. Remember, dear students, after no sooner, you have to use a question form. So you have two options here. Has he taken or had he taken? How can we choose between them? As you can see, then he left. Left is the past symbol. So we cannot use has he taken. So we have to use the correct answer, which is number C, had he taken. OK, so moving to number 10, not only space the reports, but he also leaked them to the press. So not only he had stolen, did he steal? Uh, he has stolen or does he steal? What do you think, dear student? Well, this is in the past, OK? So we can't use does here. Wait. 
no, 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 wait. Let me move it up a little bit. Yes. So uh, not only space the report, but he also leaked. So leaked here is in the past. So we can choose this or this because they are in the present. So we have here, he had stolen, okay? Or did he steal, okay? So not only dear students, we bring after it, um, uh, directly after it, we bring the verb to be or the verb to do, okay? Not the subject. We bring the verb to do or verb to um, to be after not only. And of course, uh, it's going to be in the past. So the only correct one here is did he steal? Not only did he steal the reports, but he also leaked them to the press. You know what it means uh, by uh, leak? Huh. Do you know what it means by leak? Leak here, it means that they told them secrets that he, uh, he, he sh shouldn't uh, give them, uh, give it to them. OK, a leak here and of course it has another meaning when drops of water come from a pipe or from something like that. OK, so uh, the correct answer here is not only did he steal. OK, let's move to number 11. The government Eames. Yeah, and actually Nada says she, she cannot uh, write quickly. <laughs> yeah. okay. Our story is we understand. Sorry. We will we give you a few seconds, of course. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we hope you, we are happy you share. We are happy to have you with us. The government e aims at setting up, setting up what? European University in the new capital. What do you think? To setting up a European University. I don't think this one is correct. An European University, the European University, or no article means European University. Of course, you know, dear students, we use the when we mention something uh, uh, yani, uh, for the second time, not for the first time. Okay, and we cannot use a because we have a, a we have a vowel here. The word is starting with e. So the correct answer is. Uh, European, I think it takes A. It's okay, Ms. Wafa, is that right? Yes, 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 it's Ms. Summer, thank you for the answer, of course. Uh, European, Ms. Summer is starting with E, but we, um, when we put an article, dear students, uh, A or N, uh, not according to the letters, it's according to the sound. The according to the yeah. sound, yes. The U, U, this sound is, is consonant. The yeah. sound of U is consonant, okay? So that's why we choose a European University. Well As Miss Summer already told you, our, our, the word our is starting with H. But when we pronounce it, that's why we say an hour, an hour, okay? Uh, uh, and here, European, it's starting with E, okay? So it's a vowel. But no, you can't use an. غلط إن إحنا نستخدم an مع European. ليه؟ لأن الصوت عندي الصوت اللي طالع صوت اليا اليا اللي موجودة ده عندي صوت ساكن, okay? That's why we uh, choose a. Hope you got the meaning, inshallah, dear students. Yes, um, it's your turn, I think, Ms. Omar. It's okay. It's your turn, Ms. Wafa. Okay, see. Uh, 12. Uh, the money space in the robbery was never found. So the money are stolen in the robbery, stolen in the robbery, stealing in the robbery, which stole in the robbery. What do you think, dear students? Of course, it's past here. Okay, let me uh, make it up a little bit. Yes, and yes. So the money huh, are stolen. What do you think? Money was R? No, it's not correct at all. Huh. The money stealing is money a human being? Is money a person to steal? So that's not correct. The money which stole, that means it's a person too. So it's not correct too. It was number B, Ms. Wafe. Yes, Ms. Summer. 
Now let's continue with number 13. Mr. Mahmoud asked his students to, <clears throat> to put creative suggestions. OK, sorry, this re reform, I think, education or give creative suggestions or make creative suggestions or does creative suggestions. What do you think, dear students? What do we use with the suggestions? Put, give, make or does. Yeah, now it's number 13. It's number 13. I think the correct answer is number three or number C to make creative suggestions. You remember you make a suggestion, make the suggestions, make a mistake. OK, so moving to 14 quickly. After my daughter had graduated, she locked space a job. She looked up, looked for, looked at, or looked after. Well, it's pretty easy for you to answer, okay? So she looked, looked of course, looked for, looked for a job. It means that she, she, she searched for a job, okay? Uh, look up here is searching for, um, for a word in a dictionary, not, not, uh, not looking for a job, okay? A routine or a discipline, License or leak is an official document that gives you permission to do something. Actually, it's written. Remember, dear students, it's a written. It's an official document. So once it is a document, it is written that gives you permission to do something. What do you think? Can you drive, for example, without it? I don't think so. So you have to use what in order to drive a car? You have to use a license. A license. Actually, it's a document, an official document to give you permission to drive. Very good, Muhammad. He chose license. Okay, moving quickly to 16 and give us your answers in the chat. Uh, space his own company. He took on money. Uh, he took on many workers. So finding his own company, founded his own company, found his own company or founding his own company. What do you think, dear students? Huh? We we need here, OK, a word that means establishing, you know, establish, OK, to establish a company, to establish an organization, to establish a work or something like that. So we need a word here that means establish. So is it finding? Finding means to find something that was lost from you, OK? So founded, it means something that you found, OK? It was lost, but you found it. Huh. Found or founding? You chose number D, Ms. Wafa. Founding. Perfect. So you don't need me to explain. Perfect. Now let's move to number 17. I got a plumber. Remember, dear students, the second B is silent. I got a plumber, the pipe. Fixes the pipe, fix the pipe or fixed the pipes or to fix the pipe. What do you think, dear students? I got a plumber. Of course, fix it is not correct. Fixes also is not correct. So you have two options, either to use fix or to fix. I got to get someone to do something, remember? So I got a plumber to fix the pipe. All our valuable things are locked in a safe in our bedroom, you know, a safe is uh, some sort of um, of huge thing that we put things in it, in, in it to save it. OK, so all our valuable things are locked in a safe in our bedroom. So the antonym of the word valuable is the antonym here, dear students. We, we need the opposite of the word valuable. Is it invaluable, precious, worthwhile or worthless? I think it's pretty easy for you to choose. Huh. Not unavailable, not precious, because precious means valuable. Uh, worthwhile, of course not. And the only one here is worthless. It means that's not valuable. It uh, is believed, believed, believes, or has believed that Sarah will break the record. The record. What do you think? It is believed, it believed, without is, I don't think so. It believes, so is it a person to believe? It has believed, I think, I think this is not passive voice. What do you think, dear students? I think we need passive voice here because 
the, the sentence was people believe. So if you turn it into passive, you say it is believed that Sarah will break the record. OK, moving to 20 and give me the answer. Prefer I say it. So the dog parked on seeing space on water and seeing themselves. Uh, by the way, it's the dogs, OK? Uh, themselves, herself, himself or itself. What do you think? So dogs here is plural. Huh. What do you think? Of course, themselves on water. Very good because the word dogs here is plural. Which sentence is structured correctly? You know, that means correct grammar. Amir, comma, who is the half defender, comma, score the winning goal? Uh, Amir, who's the half defender, scored the winning goal? Number C, Amir, who is the half defender? Again, comma, score the, the winning goal. Amir, who is the half defender, scored the winning goal? I think these students here, you are giving you extra information about Amir. That's why the extra information is put between the two commas. My question is, is it going to be in the present or in the past? For example, Amir, who is half defender, scored the winning goal. That means Amir every time scores the winning goal. And of course, this is not correct. It's number D. So Amir, who is the half defender, scored the winning goal. OK, moving to 22. The following line can be put in the space of a CV. So we are going to read a line and where to put it in a CV, dear students? Of course, we know the part of CV. We explained them to you before. So the following line can be put in the C in, in where of a CV. I enjoy meeting people from other countries. I have traveled to Europe and Australia. So is it in education part? Is it in hard skills or interest or work experience? What do you think? Well, if it's in education, dear students, we are telling you about the schools that I went to or the universities that I gone to. OK, so this is education. Hard skills, these are the skills that you uh, mastered or you were perfect in, uh, like uh, skills in uh, in computer, in Internet, in social media and so on. OK, uh, interests. Of course, I enjoy meeting people. These are my interests, things that I'm interested in, in meeting new people and making relationships and so on. OK, work experiences that shows you a work experience that you work um, um, under stress. You can work for long hours. You can work in a team and so on. So each one has different elements to be put in. OK, Actually, so concentrate. Now let's go to number 23. Which sentence is punctuated correctly? Remember punctuation? We had a, a whole session about punctuation. Be quiet, please. Be quiet, please. Be quiet, comma, please. Dot. Be quiet, comma, please. What do you think? I think number one is not correct or number two is not correct because actually there is no comma you know before please you have to put a comma so we have two options either c or d which one is correct dear students what do you think there is a slight difference between them actually number c very good muhammad because it has a full stop at the end of the sentence so this is the correct one be quiet comma please full stop and remember, dear students, if we have the word please at the beginning of a sentence, then we bring it please, comma, and the rest of a sentence. OK, so the word please, please, if it's in the beginning, you bring a comma after it. If it's in the last or at the end of a sentence, bring a comma before it. OK, so remember this uh, perfectly, inshallah. Actually, OK, moving. Number 24, is it my okay. turn? It, no? Yes. Yeah. I don't I don't know. OK, you, you may go. It's, it's OK. You may go. Last but not least, you know, you know this expression last but not least. OK, was should we should do our best to spread awareness concerning the importance of the topic to achieve progress and welfare 
our dear country Egypt. Okay, this sentence can be considered a or an what to an essay? A start, introduction, body, or conclusion? What do you think? Number D. It's okay. a conclusion. Do you think it's a conclusion? Last yeah. but not what do you least. Think? We should Why? do our best to spread awareness concerning the importance of the topic to achieve progress and welfare to our dear country. You know this expression last but not least. So this is actually to end your writing. OK, moving to the next part. Which questions that we didn't answer? Uh, yes, I think the beginning thing uh, will wait. We are going to write um, what, whatever we have here. OK. So uh, anything, anything, any, any letter? OK, so moving to the next part quickly. Uh, here is the reading, dear students. We want to train you on the reading, inshallah. So this passage is for you. We'll give you about 30 seconds to read it. And after that, we will uh, have the question. OK, enough time. Let's start our questions. Is it your turn, Ms. Summer? I think it's my turn. As far as I remember, actually, I don't remember. But it's OK. <laughs> OK, let's start. Number 25. According to the passage, you didn't vegetable ingredients the shortage of what? Just the shortage of protein, fat, vitamins, or calcium. What do you find in vegetables according to the passage? I think you find protein in meat and chicken. Is that right? And of exactly. course, uh, they it's don't. Vitamins? Yeah, if you are on diet, you always eat vegetables, so they don't have fat, okay? And calcium is found in eggs, cheese, milk. Is that right? So I think the correct answer is vitamins. Okay, moving to 26. There won't be food shortage in the future if the food is fairly distributed, unfairly distributed, of high quality, of low quality. What do you think, dear student? Well, it's not even according to the, um, the passage itself. There won't be food for this shortage if, if food is, huh, of course, fairly distributed between people. You are right, Miss Wafa. If you, if you don't read the passage, you will be able to answer with these both questions. Yes. Now let's move to number 27. The problem of food can be solved if we, if we do what? If we use the internet and mass media, of course not. If we use advanced methods of cultivation, if we use more water from the sea, uh, do you think we can water vegetables from the sea? when we provide beautify the river water i think again the correct answer is clear here if we use advanced methods for or of cultivation number but according to the passage it's number two is the correct one yeah okay let me enlarge it a little bit uh, yes that's perfect one okay so moving to 28 we feed animal on grain to produce to produce what dear students in your opinion well high according to the passage of course high quantity beef fat and food supply skin and vegetables high quality beef well of course not high quantity they want high quality according to the passage as i already told you okay next part that was a passage and we have another reading comprehension for you. So read it quickly and. We will give you the answers after that, inshallah. 30 seconds and we will give you the question answers. Some sort of a story, by the way. OK, it's your turn, Summer. Start it. It was interesting, actually. Let's start number 29, dear students. Uh, the sentence that can be that can summarize the fourth paragraph. Identifying, would you please just make it a bit larger? Excuse my bad uh, eyesight. Yes, no, no, that's okay. 
Number eight, identify who, identifying who Mr. Murad really was and his real job, protecting the other passengers from the murderers, discovering Murad's secret password as a spy, finding out Murad really as the what do you think was the correct answer, dear students? I think actually number D is the correct one. Finding out God was wrong when he asked the detective's help. Okay, okay so moving quickly to 30. Basil didn't want to help Mr. Murad. So which one is the truth one or the, the, the correct answer here? A, to take part in his murder. And he was the murderer to kill the other criminals or as he thought he was a liar. Of course, if you uh, read the passage clearly, you will find that he thought that he was a liar. He didn't believe him. So this is the correct one here. Now let's move to 31. Although Basin refused to help Mr. Murad, he was right not to help Mr. Murad, help the doctor to reach the truth suspected few of the passengers or regretted helping Mr. Murad. He didn't ask none help. So the correct one is number B. He helped the doctor to reach the truth. Okay, uh, 32. The central idea of the story is a criminal would help to protect each other. Uh, uh, sorry, criminals would help to protect each other. Crime would be committed by the help of the police Criminals always face their fears of the death, the Spanish train, mysterious crime. Well, if you read the whole passage, you will uh, find that it's about a crime or a mysterious crime um, that happened on the Spanish train. So the, the most re relevant one here is D, the Spanish train, mysterious crime. Now let's move to number 33. Murad, though he was certainly in danger, so Murad thought, should be thought, is that right? Murad thought he was certainly in danger, yeah. so he was suffering from heart problems. He asked Basil for help. The detective warned him not to take the train or the doctor had examined him the day before. I think the correct one, although he, uh, Murad, although he was certainly in danger, so he asked Basil for help. Okay, so 34, according to the passage, one must speak the others when they ask. So one must help, ignore, encourage, or defeat. Well, it's not even according to the passage, it's even in life. One must do what to others when they ask, dear students. Ignore them when they ask him, encourage them uh, or encourage others when they ask him, or defeat them uh, or help them. Of course, one must help the others. Exactly, number 35. I cannot believe how some animals can, in such conditions, can survive, can serve, can divide, or can devote. I think the confusing one here is number A. I can't believe how some animals can survive in this in such conditions. How survive means uh, how they keep their same, themselves alive. OK, uh, they have two space. This is say it's very long. So when we have a very long text, dear students, what do we do to shorten it? What do we do? Realize, recognize, summarize or maximize. Huh? to shorten it, to make it little, to make it less. What do we do? Of course, we summarize it. We summarize. Well, we are going to end the session with uh, with you, Miss Samara. Yes. Uh, this is the last question here. When children work in group, don't delete, silence, attend or spoil them. Let them express their ideas freely. Muhammad actually says, no, I don't know uh, which uh, number of this Muhammad you're giving me letters. I cannot uh, recognize, but I think the correct one is number B. Non silence them. Let them speak. Let them express themselves. Thank you very much, dear students. Actually, it was a very interesting uh, session with you as usual, and you have got a form to do. Please do it and give us your uh, your score. Thank you very much. I've enjoyed working with you very much, Miss Wafa. 
So thank you, sweetie. I enjoy you too, Miss Summer. Uh, thank you, Muhammad and Nada. Nice to have you with us all the time, inshallah. I already dropped you the link to the form to answer it, to answer all the questions. And see you, inshallah, on Sunday with a new revision with you. Uh, thank you and goodbye. Goodbye.